Hello, my YouTube friends. How you doing? Uh, Danny from Danny's Corner and Chasing Boats Inspectors. Um, last night I was on Cab Seven stream, and the topic was about suicide. And it's a very serious topic, and it, it's really it, lately it's it's bad because there's so much going on in the world and uh, so much pain. <coughs> And, and suicides the last two years is higher than it's ever been. It's kind of sad. Don Broyles, he put out a message about it and and, and, and Cab was on for over five hours reaching out to people and, and people came up and talked. But I want to do something here on my channel. Okay. I want to talk about it too. If you're thinking about it, if you're in a bad spot, if you're in a dark spot, don't. Don't do it. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, call a one eight number. Whatever you got to do, you don't give up. This, I'll give you an example. This is my medical alert thing. It's pretty big, eh? I thought so too. But unfortunately, there's enough going on that I needed to. And within the last year, I've had that third one, and they're full. Now I'm going to give you, hopefully this will give you hope. I'm going to share a little bit about myself with you, all right? I'll just read you some of them. Type 2 diabetes, PTSD, lupus, epilepsy, phobias, do not crowd, <laughs> severe depression, Infections of legs, gangrene, stuff like that. I have four operations on each leg. There's a few more. So you got two choices. Okay. You can let this shit define you. Or you can say, no, that's not who I am. That's what's happening, but that's not who I am. That's not who you are. It's hard sometimes. There's lots and lots of things that I used to love doing that I cannot do anymore. So I had to make choices. One thing that I've been doing for 50 years is helping people when they got serious issues and they need help. I'll never stop doing that. I'll never stop doing my investigations because I love it, okay? I don't care if I gotta roll my ass into the bush on a wheelchair, I'm gonna do my investigation. That is gonna stop me from doing the things I love, okay? Now, I've had to change the way I do things. I've had to make uh, differences, but you can do this. If it's something that you really wanna do, you can do it. And there's always someone there. The YouTubian family's there. You're never alone. Okay? It's never alone. Yes, I have severe PTSD. Some days, I'm really dark. I have severe depression. Some days, I'm really dark. There are plenty of days 
where I have to grab the railing on my bed and pull my ass out of that bed, otherwise I'd never leave it. Okay? And I know it's gonna be a shitty day and I know it's I don't wanna be here. So what do I do? I come here and I read and I see I feel I feel all the love in your comments, all the things that you say to me, all the words that you write. And it lifts me up. And it gets me back on my feet. And then I hug my dog. And I tell my kids I love them. And I force myself to go forward. Because that's the only solution. I don't care what you have to do. You do not check out. Every day you find one thing. One thing to give you a reason to make it through today. I don't care if it's to hug your kids. I don't care if it's to do your hobby. I don't care what it is. But you damn well find one thing that'll give you the strength to make it through today. I can't plan for tomorrow. Can't plan for next week. I don't have that capability right now. So I made a goal. I've got 50 years into working in the paranormal field and I want to make it to 75. So that's my big goal. All right. And that's the only one I can make. That's the only thing I can plan. But every morning, I have one reason to make it through today. And that's what you got to do. And before you know it, you'll say, oh, you know what, tomorrow I want to do this. But until then, you just need one reason. One damn reason to make it through today. Because if you can make it through today, you can start chipping away at whatever it is that you got to chip away with until you get to the point when you can say, tomorrow I'm going to do this. <sighs> you never know the power of your words. You see someone who's down, just ask them, are you okay? You want to talk? That might be what they needed that day to live one more day. And I have brilliant spots of light. I'm sorry. I have brilliant spots of light throughout my day. I can think of all the horrible stuff I've seen, all the horrible stuff I've been through, all the crap I had to live through, crap I gotta deal with now. And I got more crap coming in the future. But I don't focus on that. I focus on helping my friends. That's what I live for. I live to help you people. I live to help my friends. I live to work and help people in the paranormal field. And I live to find little spots of light, you know? Little things that, it's the little tiny things that I might get a couple laughs in a day. I might get a smile on my face, you know? You people 
you people make me smile. You people make me feel good. Okay? Yeah, there's times when I'm really dark. Yeah, there's times where I, I just really don't want to fight anymore. You know? But then, I realize I have to. Right? So you got to turn it around. And that's the first thing I do in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I don't want to be here, so I got to, the first thing I do, before anything, is I come here, I click on any of my cinema, I don't care which cinema, I just click on a cinema, and I read all your comments. And it changes my whole perspective. And then I go to the bathroom, you know, and then I come back and check a couple more cinemas, uh, and read some more comments sometimes. Depends how bad I'm feeling. But it all lifts me up. Okay, and I know depression is a real thing. I know PTSD is a real thing, and I know life is a real thing. Okay, but you only got one life, and leaving it is not the answer because now you've compounded the fracture because all your relatives, all your friends, they'll never get over it. They'll never survive it. People, I've, I've lost people to suicide 20 years ago. I think about them every three or four days and I think, why, you know? Don't do that to your family. Don't let someone like me have to tell your family things that you can no longer tell them because you've moved on. Stick around and tell them yourself because I don't want to. Okay? <coughs> and I'd rather you tell them. And if you need me, I'm here. Okay? I know this isn't a typical thing this isn't a typical thing that I do. But if you need help, if you have these thoughts, if you're having a hard time, get a hold of me, get a hold of any of you two of you, and get, talk to your best friend, call the 1-800 numbers. There's 1-800 numbers all over the place. Get a number, call it, okay? Because you're needed, you're special, people need you. You might not see it right now because your head's so full of crap and you can't see daylight because it's all clouded but there's so many people that need you and there's so many people that love you and you might not see it but trust me they're there all right so please call that 1-800 number if you need to call me call somebody but don't you quit one more bloody day.